Hello guys! In this tutorial, we learned some cool tricks to add some interactions to our website. As you can see, there are many ways to make your website more interesting. This tutorial on YouTube is limited to some stuffs you need to know to animate your images. These small interactions will affect your website a lot, and it won't be boring. If you want to learn more and have access to the codes, or even clone this template for free, I suggest you to join my Patreon. On Patreon, you can get access to new tutorials on a weekly basis and become a big web developer. However, you can try Jim. Sit tight and let's learn the principles. Let's take a look at the layout. I made the layout simple to make it easier for you to understand the layout. We have it. Text block. I used an empty div block to adjust the space between text and a sticky wrapper. Inside our sticky wrapper, we have text wrapper. One wrapper also contains a background to add more depth to our text. And finally, we have a grid wrapper. We basically want to scale down our grid on scroll. Let's see the animation first. We scale down our grid and text moves up. Let's take a look at the required code for this part. I have added four libraries. I have added Lenis Smooth Scroll for a better experience. If you want to learn how to use Lenis Smooth Scroll, click on the pop-up shows at the top of my video. I will skip the Lenis Smooth Scroll lines. When you want to use Scroll Trigger Library, you have to register it first. Then I use two lines here to select our targets which will be animated. First line will target our grid, which would be resized. In second line, we'll target our text wrapper to animate it. Here I created a scroll trigger animation. Trigger is the first sticky wrapper. When the sticky wrapper shows up, the animation runs to scale down our image and moves up the text. Start will set when the animation runs. I use top top which says when the top of our sticky wrapper reaches the top of the screen. The animation starts. For end, I used bottom top. Now we set a key sap from animation to scale down our grid from 2 to 1. Also, we target the grayscale filter to adjust the color of the images. I have animated the gap between cells and reduced them on scroll. Let's see how the grayscale filter works. These lines will also create it for the heading text to set opacity from 0 to 1. 
it has the same trigger as our grid. So, the sticky wrapper will tell our browser when the animation runs. First animation is done. Let's learn the required layout of our second animation. I used a wrapper for spacing and a text wrapper. Then we have another sticky wrapper. This wrapper contains a grid and another empty div block, which will be used to put our grid items inside it. inside our grid. There are some empty div blocks which have no image to add some random gap between our images. We basically want to move the child items inside our grid to a new div block when we scroll. This line will define a name for our grid to be reused later easier. This line will define a name for our new parent, which is going to hold the grid item. Third line will create an array from the grid item. Fourth line will target our text which moves vertically. Here we use flip library to do some stuffs. We are going to change the Z index of each grid item. Also, set their position to absolute and reducing the border radius to 5 pixel. This line will tell Webflow each grid item gets reparented to our new div block. Here we tell our browser to count the number of images and use it as the Z index of our new wrapper, which is going to hold the small images. Here we define the function to run our flip animation. It tells our browser to reparent our elements from their current state. These lines will use scroll trigger to run the function we have created earlier. Again, we have a trigger which is our sticky wrapper.
It runs the my flip function which I have explained before. Lastly, we create a scroll trigger animation to move our text vertically from bottom to the middle of our screen. Let's see the animation. For our last animation, we have another sticky wrapper. Inside this sticky wrapper, we have a wrapper, which contains an image. Also, there is another wrapper which contains our text. We basically want to scale down our image and move the text from bottom to the middle of screen. We need to define our image and text. They are referring to our image and text we have. We use again, scroll trigger, to animate our image scale. Start is set to top top which means, when the top of our sticky wrapper reaches the top of the screen, the animation runs. we scale down our image from 4 to 1. Also, we use hue filter to shift our image color. For our text, we use again scroll trigger to move the text up like this. Let's see how this works. Thanks for watching. You can clone this template if you follow me on Patreon for free and see the codes. Catch you in the next tutorial.